So friends, last week we kind of reviewed the staff. This week we are going to talk about the notes that go on the staff. So the first thing that I need is a treble clef because we are, oops, that was a sad treble clef. We are using the higher notes, so we need that treble clef. That was a little bit better. And then we need to talk about the notes that we're putting on the staff. So we have Do, Re, Mi, So, La, and High Do. I'm going to put Do on space line two. I'm going to put Do on line two. There's Do. Looks like a P. Redo. G for Do. Do. Do is on line two. I know Ray is right next door, right in line. Ray is the next thing that I see. I know me is right after that on the next line. I know that I have a note that I skip between me and so, and I know so is also on the next line. I know la comes after that on the space. I know that there's something here that I skip. It's T, but we're not going to talk about it. And then I know I have high do in the space above the staff. Do, re, mi, so, la, do. We have intentionally skipped here and here between me and so in between la and high do. You'll find out why in fourth grade. But I have two new notes that I want to show you today. And they are notes that we use to create some nice, um, nice sounding endings are what, what they're used a lot for. Before I show you what they are though, I want you to notice this do is on a line. The next do we see is on a space. The next do from this one that we see would be on a line. The do before this one came on a space. So there's a pattern within the scale of line, space, line, space, line, space, line, space. But on top of that, there's a pattern of each note line and then space for next do, line for next do, space for next do, and so on. I'm going to change my color to glittery pink here. Our two new notes are low so and low la. I already know that the next, the low la is going to be on a line because this la is on a space. So we're looking at a la that's on the line. And if you look, this la is on the, la, the next space under high do, which is on a space. Ignore my email. So... Here's this do. Our la is going to be on the line beneath this do right here, low do. Low, la, la, la. And then we know that our low so is going to be on a space because this one is on a line. And it's going to be right underneath low la. It's going to be on the space below the staff. Low, so. So la do re mi so la do. We use lo so and lo la a lot for endings. Do so do. That's my ending. Da da da. Or da da da. La so. So la do. Sorry. Do, so, do, la, so, la, do. So those are like endings that can happen that we use the lo, so, and the lo, la for. But lo, so especially is a really common one to have like a do, so, do type of ending or line that a lower sounding instrument might play to go along with the melody of a song or something. We have a song that we are going to do today. But I'm going to put it in the next slide. So the next slide will be the song that kind of goes with Loso and Lola.